To assemble your knuckle seal kit, make sure you disassemble your knuckle from your axle, and I'll go over what we have to do. There is your knuckle seal kit right here. This is your rubber seal, which will go in beside your knuckle, and then you have your felt seal on top of your rubber, and then your metal plates, which will hold your felt seal and rubber seal together, and they'll tread through these holes, putting pressure on your knuckle. The first step is to install your felt seal on first before you put your knuckle on, otherwise you can't get it on. Just slide it on, as so. Before you install your rubber seal, make sure to use some multi-purpose grease, and we'll just grease it up so it slides better on your axle. To install your rubber seal, push your rubber seal from underneath on your axle, and the split will just open like that and slide right on. Make sure to apply some multi-purpose grease to the ball on your knuckle before we install the knuckle. This just provides some lubricant. Slide on your knuckle housing onto your axle shaft. With the proper amount of shims on your kingpin, as you've already done this, just slide on your kingpin. With your knuckle fully assembled, and we'll just make sure we don't install our brake line guard on the top, so we have to torque our seal on the back first. And to install a rubber seal, it goes in the back of your knuckle. We'll start from the bottom and work up, and kind of pushing in those two little grooves right into the knuckle. One note, you want the split at the very top, just so oil doesn't flow through the little crack. With the rubber generally in place, we'll start from the bottom first, and we have to put on our felt seal, and you want your square end to be upwards to the top or to the bottom, and then we'll put on our plate on the bottom first. Make sure to apply your anaerobic gasket maker to all eight of your bolts before we install them to the knuckle. The metal plates will be installed horizontally with your flat facing downwards as the same as your felt seal. We'll put the bottom one on first. One note with your metal plates, make sure you install your plate correctly. You see this small lip on your plate? Make sure that is pointing upwards. Align your metal plate with the holes on your felt seal and just start from the bottom and work around getting all the holes in. It's kind of tricky while pushing the rubber in and now work on the top while we push in the rubber and the felt seal. Now install the top plate onto the back of your knuckle, lining all the holes up, start from the top, thread your bolt in. Now install the second bolt at the very top and now the two side bolts. Once they're snug, use a ratchet to snug it up and then we will torque it to spec. Tighten in a crisscross pattern so it puts even pressure on the metal plate. The last step is that we ensure we torque all of our bolts on our knuckle seal. Torque it to 15 foot-pounds. Just go around and make sure all the bolts are torqued. Now I'll loosen the nuts on your kingpin studs so we can put on the brake line hose guard on the knuckle. Install your brake line hose guard on top of your knuckle. As you can see, this has to be installed last because you cannot get to the bolts on the back side of the knuckle seal. Reinstall the nuts and lock washers on the kingpin studs, and that will torque this to 30 foot-pounds as per spec to get the right preload on our knuckle. Once the new knuckle seals are installed and your brake hose guard is on, we'll torque all of the kingpin studs to 30 foot-pounds. And go to crisscross pattern, working the top and the bottom. Giving it a test try, the knuckle moves nicely. We have 16 pounds of preload on the knuckle, and it is all set to go. That's it. Subscribe. <laughs>